what is going on guys this is dcx albrecht and today i'm going to show you how to mine digibyte uh, digibyte is a cryptocurrency it's very very fast compared to bitcoin right now um like 10 15 20 times faster the transactions are almost instant and that's because digibyte has 15 second block times compared to bitcoin's 10 minute so your 15 seconds a blocks found transactions are put in that block they're starting the next one and get the merkle tree effect in 15 seconds so in one minute you got four blocks bitcoin 10 minutes so transactions are instant um digibyte is also supported with five algorithms um we're gonna focus on skiing today because i use nvidia cards and i found that skiing is the best one for nvidia um, the other ones are not that great. So, um, let's see here. With my 1070 Ti Founder Edition cards, I average about 550 mega hashes a second. Um, now, if I use the MSI Afterburner, I can usually pump it up the core clock a little bit and get around 600, but then I sometimes start getting errors and boos and stuff in the CC Miner program. So, I, typically I overclock just a little bit and get around 570 580 I'm happy so um, this is their website it's digibyte.io um, this coin's been around for about four going on five years and it was like at one point I think this year around a hundred satoshis in price and it is actually up to sorry about that um <laughs> it's now up to about 450 uh peaking around around 500 satoshis right now which is equivalent to about a hundred for 100 digibyte it's about eight dollars um it's a very profitable coin to mine um if you go to what to mine and search for digibyte you're gonna get this right here and I don't know how to pronounce this, so I'm not even going to try. But that G word is another algo that you can do. Um, and like I said, each card you're going to get about 550. I don't even know if this is going to be accurate. I'll be able to tell you, though. Mm, that's not really accurate. So I'd say with a card, I had close to 1.3 giga hash, and I was getting about... 170 digibyte a day um i guess you can say that's a little bit a little bit short let's see here 1300 in there yeah that's about 70 off um this calculator on here is not right and that's probably why a lot of people are not doing it but i mean i make you can make some really good money mining digibyte right now and not a lot of people know that so I'm gonna show you how to do that. Let's go ahead and let's get started. Um, first off, we are going to need a mining pool. Now this is the mining pool that I use. I think it's great. Um, the hash rate is actually pretty low on the pool right now. At one point it was up to 700 giga hash on the skein. And right now it is around 515. Um, so your rewards are going to be a lot higher on this pool right now um, So I would jump in as soon as you can so Get on the site. It's dgb skeen dot the blocks dot com. Go ahead and register um, You'll probably have to go on and confirm with your email and register and Then get your account all set up log in come up here to my account and go to my workers and we want to go ahead and create a worker. So I have three workers right now. Um, none of them are running. So go ahead. You make a worker. Let's call this. Um, and just make my password X. Doesn't really matter. Add a new worker. So here we have a worker. DCX Albrecht. Passwords X. And we'll start from there. Um, in the video description, go ahead and I have a link in there for you. It should look like this, mega.nz. 
This is going to download an RAR package, an all-in-one package. All you got to do is edit the bat file and run it, and you'll start mining, just like I did in my other previous videos. So go ahead and download this. Unzip it to your desktop, your documents, wherever you choose. So I already actually have this right here, CC Miner. I'm going to go ahead and open up that folder. And right here, digibyte.bat is the batch file I made you. So you want to right click on that. You want to go to edit. And right here, CC Miner X64. And there she is right there. Now, if your virus, um, if your antivirus goes off and stuff, there's no viruses in here. I've checked it. I had Webroot on here and it constantly kept going off. It's because it's a minor program that's quite normal. If you Google it, it it's, it's common. It's a false positive. So um, you want to go ahead and change right after the hyphen U. It says ice zeros dot heartbreak. And you want to actually put in your username and then your worker name. So my username is ice zeros. And then my worker name would be that I just created DCX Albrecht. And that's my password. We're going to go ahead and press Control S to save it. Or you can go up and push File, Save. So kind of double check everything. Looks good. We can X out. Um, and then go ahead and double click on it. Let's see how she runs. Yep, this is my small uh, 21070 Ti miner right now. Go ahead. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to open up MSI Afterburner and kind of show you guys too my overclock settings while I'm at it. So that's it. Yeah, pretty much now you're mining. Um, what you need to do is, is go and get a Digibyte wallet. I actually use, I hope my, let's see here, I use on the Android, it's Coinomi, Coinomi, all one word, and you can actually add uh, the Digibyte um, wallet on here, and that's what I use, I think it's great. So I know this is small, but that's kind of what I'm working with right here, that's how many Digibyte I got. It works great. So let's go back here and see if you go to downloads. I believe, yeah, they have they have the blockchain wallets, which you got to download the entire blockchain. And this is a four to five year old coin, so it's going to take a while. I would try to go ahead and get the Coinomi wallet. It's a mobile one. Just make sure you back up all your passwords and stuff. Um, that's with any wallet you do. And I believe that Trezor, if you have a Trezor, or not a Trezor, a Ledger, Ledger Nano actually supports Digibyte. So if you have a Ledger, you can go ahead and get Digibyte on there. I believe they support that now. And the Trezor is, it's rumored that it's going to start. They had a, a post on Twitter about it. So uh, let's check out the coin market cap. So I got into Digibyte a couple months ago and was just kind of spectating. And it was like above the top 100. It's rank 44 today. Um, it's at six cents. I remember when it was a penny. I wish I would have bought a lot more, but I didn't. Um, so I'm kind of getting into it now. 21 billion coins is the max supply. There's about 9 billion floating around. So if this market cap would get up to like... I mean, even like a trillion dollars, you're, or yeah, a million, I mean, yeah, a billion, get my words messed up, you would probably, yeah, you're going to profit either way. This is a very profitable con uh, coin to mine right now. So let's go back. I'll show you guys how to overclock real quick and then we'll wrap up the video. So right now with each card, my one card's acting kind of funny. Um, I'm getting kind of low hash rates. Let me try to boost it up here. I usually like to get my fans up to 70. Keep them nice and cool because they're pretty stock. 
Now I on Digibyte kind of get the core clock up to about 60. Ah, that's why too. Okay, so we need to go back and edit the bat file. I'm getting low hash rates because I think I'm mining at an intensity of 20 and that's automatic. So go back in the bat file. You want to edit it and you want to push hyphen I and you want to do, let's do 24. Now, I is intensity. It's how hard you want the program to run on your graphics cards. Right now it's at 20. The max is 26. So 24 is almost max. Um, you can do, you can try 26, but you might get errors. So let's do that. I'm going to push control C to end this program. I'm going to push it again. It's going to kill it. Let's go ahead and fire it back up. Because I was getting around 450, 350 mega hash, depending on the card. Yeah, right away I'm getting more. Getting already close to a giga hash. Yep, there we go. So you kind of want to experiment with that. It, it's all about learning, learning your, your cards, getting your overclocks right. You, you got to tweak things. My best advice I can give to you guys, um, I do run my power limit at 100. My core clock, I usually try to bump up to a max of 80. You can go more if you're getting ballsy with it, but um, that's completely up to you guys. So let me get this up here. Let me try to get at least 15 shares, and then I'll go ahead and crank her up a little bit more. Running about 163 watts per card. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and crank her up to 80. So right now I'm about 1,022 mega hash. So, anyways, um, leave a like, subscribe. Uh, I'm gonna upload more videos here. Let me know if there's anything uh, that you guys see that you don't like. Let me know if there's anything that you do like. Um, stay tuned. I'll be uploading more soon.